Hey fans, Blyce is here, Bly for short. Just wanted to go ahead and touch base with you guys again. I guess I'm doing a prequel to the first video I've ever made on gaming here at Ark Survival Evolved. We're calling this the Ark Survival Evolved series 2023. So this game's been out for quite a while um, and I've enjoyed playing it. I have my beef with the devs on this game and and things that I believe they should have done. I wrote something on one of their forums there which you'll be able to see on Steam uh, if you look for it. But anyway we're going to go ahead and get right into this and here's our arc screen. I wanted to go ahead and give you guys a beginner beginner so you guys don't miss anything. So here we go. We just loaded the game up. We have the choice to pick a server. We're going to go ahead and pick a server. We're going to go ahead and look for just the lowest ping, and we're going to be on an official server. So here's our screen of officials down in the bottom left. You can select different things. We have the official server selected if you look where my cursor's at. And we're going to go ahead and go to the top. We're playing on the Ragnarok map. It's not the island map. Island was the first one, the first map that they made. Um, then they had a few other ones before Ragnarok. I think they called it Center. Um, and uh, they've made a few different maps. They were all mods, and now they've become official game maps, which is pretty cool. Um, so we're going to go ahead again and move toward picking our server real quick, even though we're on one and the other. We're going to select this sort by ping, and we want the lowest ping so that this way the game's going to play the best. So I don't care that there's nobody on here. The other server, I was looking for some people, but we're going to go ahead and pick this. And as you see here today, 46,000 days, almost 47,000 days. I mean, they don't reset these servers like ever. So we're just going to jump right into that. Let that load on up. And we're going to get this bad boy going. So it does take uh, a few minutes to get the game loaded in. See in the bottom left, it's kind of like telling you what's going on. Instead of just watching a little red bar go across the bottom of your screen. So it makes you feel a little bit better about waiting. <laughs> so if you decide to play on private servers with mods, that's going to take a while to load in initially. So here we are in the character builder. I don't waste a whole bunch of time um, with this. You can pick male or female. It's all, all this is self-explanatory. Skin color, hair color, eye color, face. I mean, I don't have to explain all that good stuff. So we're not going to explain it. We're just going to leave it just the way it is. We're going to go over here. On the right, you can pick different places to spawn. Spawn region. Jungle ones what come up. So we're going to just go ahead and go with it. Maybe I'll be close to where I was last time. Yeah, change my name. Oh, Bly. All right. And we're going to create a survivor. Well, I put a few hours <sighs> in yesterday on the server. Yeah, it didn't give you that raw arc experience. So here we go. We are going to be at it, so good. There is uh, an obelisk right over here. There is different color ones. Now, granted fans, I'm colorblind. <laughs> so it doesn't mean I don't see any colors at all, no. But I can't see most of them in that little speckled little test thing. So, whatever. That limited me quite a bit from doing things when I was in the military and everything else. So. I can see, but some things I can't see so well. So anyway, we're going to head toward that obelisk. That's our first goal. As we're going ahead and looting immediately, E, and picking some plants, we're going to need food, for sure. And we're going to go ahead and need to be able to pick some armor. So we're going to pick a few things, and I'm ready to heavy. Okay? The nice thing about just picking 
like we're doing is that you start to go ahead and gain experience right away. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop the heaviest stuff. I'm going to drop that wood. We don't need it. And let's go ahead and run on. Let's see. Yes, we can run across this log. It will kill you if you fall off. That would suck. So we're going to run across this log here. We're going to try and make it down toward the obelisk. See, people are just building anywhere. Let's see if they got anything inside this workbench. Uh, no. Bunch of garbage. So, let's go ahead and move on down. You want to be very careful. Don't go inland and don't fight. It's just not worth it. You'll be starting over again. I'm just picking plants, picking plants. My weight is getting heavy. Don't hit tab like in most games. So we're going to go ahead. We got a bunch of stuff on us. See, we got a bunch. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and eat these berries. Old E and it's just going to keep them. And that's going to take my weight down quite a bit. So we'll eat a whole stack of those and care. And we're going to just go over these other ones. And I'm going to go ahead and hit O to drop. And I'm going to drop the yellow. The black we want to keep because that can make a narcotic to knock out animals. These are skins, which I really care less for. So I end up dropping all these skins, but I'm going to show you how one of them works, this silly hat right here. I'm going to go ahead and show you how that goes. I'm going to just drop this other stuff because I can't stand all the stuff in my inventory. Just get rid of all this. And that is all gone. And I just kept the hat, and this is a skin for a sword. So I'm going to show you that too, if I actually get a sword. So I've already gotten points to level up, but we're going to leave that alone. It's probably wise to go ahead and get those levels as quickly as you can, but I am going to forego that at the moment, just to go ahead and move on over to where we can see what's going on. Oop, we don't want to mess with that. That, that little bird is a pain in the ass. He dive bombs you. You're in Florida like I am. He's like a Florida pelican dive bombing your ass. But he will dive bomb you and he, what he does is he steals your gear. So, you think that's in the whole slot will go first and you just start stealing stuff out of your inventory. Um, so you'll come up missing stuff. So what we're doing is we are trying to get over to where one we can see. Exhausted. Bottom right is where everything goes on. And my guy's saying he's tired. The little hand says you can pick stuff up uh, from the ground. The arrow up means I got a level. The one below that is a weight symbol. That's how much you're carrying. Below that is your water. Thirst. Below that one looks like a ham. That is your food. And see that it's wider than the rest. We're going to press the plus sign on the keypad, and that lets you poop. And that stops the food drain as quickly. Below that is your stamina. So we're back up here, and what we're looking for is mystery crates. Since we're just getting started out, we want to find some mystery crates. But before we can jam up those mystery crates, we need to go ahead and make a tool. So, we're going to go ahead, we've been picking stuff up, parsing any plants, whatever's on the ground, and I'm going to go ahead and show you plants, and it's getting berries. If you're looking on the left, oh, uh, underneath the plant was a stone, but I'm going to show you clearly. So there's our thatch. Main thing is berries and thatch and seeds you get from plants. Then you go to these small stones that are on the ground. And you will go ahead and pick up rocks. So these like this, or one like this. The big ones you can't pick up. See, it's picking up stones around there. 
Now that leaf I just picked up, if you look on the left, it gave me wood and thatch. Oh, it didn't give you thatch yet. This one here, this should give you thatch. There it is. Left side of the screen, you see what it gave me. So you're going to need stone, thatch, and fiber. Make the first two. So we got that. We're going to press I for inventory. We're going to go to this top tab. We're going to go to craft. We're going to look at what more we need. We need one piece of wood. So I just dropped that wood. So you're going to say, well, we got to get a piece of wood. So you're going to go run. And I'm going to try this again. It used to be punching. There we go. You can still do it. So punching, you get, you take damage, by the way. But you start to get wooden thatch. That's what we needed. I for inventory. Going into crafting. And let's go ahead and craft our pickaxe. The torch will keep you somewhat warm. But you need flint. We don't have flint yet. But we are doing the process. Here is our stone pickaxe. We're going to go ahead and go over to one of these big pieces of stone. Or this round one here. Okay, let's equip it. And stone, stone, and flint. We got all three. So metal is going to be needed later in the game. And if you see, look in front of me, there's a nice big metal node right there. Got like that gold is the best I can see running through it. Yeah, that's going to be important. But we're going to leave that alone for now. And we're going to go ahead and move on over. Sorry about that. I'm going to go ahead and drop some stuff because I'm still too heavy. Let's go ahead and eat these berries. And let's eat some more of my These red, not, I call this white. So stem berries, you don't want to eat those. Those will knock you out. So. Red, not light, blue, and these guys here, these guys I like, Mijo berries to tame the first animals, so, but you can eat them right now, do whatever. Here's so where you can quickly drop and read them, and you can eat them. Uh, the red ones supposedly make you more tasty, but they don't bite the water, so who cares. Then run on over, and here we go. Here's our crate that we were looking for. Before we do that, I want you to see that we got a little bit of a glow. We have some light. It's not pitch dark. You, It will be pitch dark if you're not by one of these light sources. Okay? So, pickaxe in hand. Let's go ahead and this something special. We got a wooden shield and we got some flint. Too much flint. We're not going to carry all that stuff. Wooden shield. So, early game, I mean, you can try and play with that shield. Um, double click, we'll flip it. Do that. Block. I mean, you can try and block attacks and all that good stuff, but your play style, play any way you like. I don't need it. We're going to go ahead and take that off. We're going to drop it. See that down here? That's 15 pounds. We're going to drop that. That's heavy. We're going to go ahead and drop what else? Uh, I should drop that steel because we don't need it right now. Metal. We'll get rid of the metal. We're going to get rid of the stone since it's so quickly available. We're going to get rid of all that action. And we've got 96 stone arrows. It's great. Sorry. Pooped. <laughs> so, the arrows, it's just weight right now. But, we can use them. We're going to go ahead and run over this way here. And we're going to go on down. 
Actually, we may stick around here as I go show you guys the basics. And then we'll go down the coast to where we began the previous video I made. And we'll be in the same spot and we'll just end up picking up from there. So, you want to get some levels. And the easiest way to go ahead and get these levels more quickly is to build. So that's exactly what we're going to go ahead and do as we go ahead and get the skills to do so. So, let's go into our inventory. We have the ability to gain a level. So by hitting I, we're going to go across this top tab. Engrams 0. That first one was, if you were in a different tab, inventory. Tribal management, you don't need to worry about that. Tame groups, you don't need to worry about that right now. Tame and list, not important. Explorer notes, that's as you find these. You can go ahead and see those notes. But we haven't found anything because we're fresh. So we're going to, in case we're in another screen, here's the engrams, here's what's selected. We don't have level 2 because we did not add our points yet. So let's go ahead and close that out. Quickest way, press I for inventory, and we're going to go ahead and add points. So, we're getting started out. We need to be able to carry things. So you're going to put points in, into weight. But I also put points into health, and I put points into melee damage. Because when you do have to kill something in the beginning, I like to be able to actually kill it. So, weight's really important. I got five points. I'm just going to go ahead and spread them around. I'm going to put a couple here. I'm going to put a couple in health. And I'm going to go ahead and put uh, one in melee damage. So, it leveled me up. I'm already level six. We didn't do anything, see? So, we're going to go ahead and look at our engram points. And these are all showing here. Okay, we're in the right screen. So here's all the levels, and we're already level six, so we can pick any of all these. So listen, you gotta start with the basics, and the basics is your basic tool. We do need to make sure we make our hatchet. You'll wanna make sure you make some type of a weapon. So here's your spear. We're gonna use points until we don't have any anymore, okay? Campfire to stay warm and cook food. So we want to select that as soon as we can. So then we come down here to our next tier. And you don't have to pick everything, but it's important to stay warm. I got this cold symbol on the bottom, so we're going to go ahead and make sure that we get our clothes going first. Now, the gloves require hide and the shoes require hide. So I'm not going to select those right now. I'm going to go with the hat chest, the legs, and I'm going to leave that alone. And the first thing I'm going to go ahead and pick for building is go down here to my thatch foundations. That gives you the most points building foundations. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that's selected. Now, we carry a bunch of stuff. We need to go ahead and drop that stuff. So we need to make our storage crate. We got our storage crate we can drop, pick up supplies, put them in the box, and then come back and build. So that's really, really important. We can make a, another weapon, the slingshot, for shooting at distance, but right now you really need to focus on building and getting some levels. And that's what we're going to do. And so one of the things we're going to end up needing, and we'll test the push on the to knock things out more efficiently. We can't do it with stones, but we want to go ahead and get a building on the way, get a weapon on the way. So if we got points still to spend, I'm going to go ahead and make, I'm sorry, select our walls. I'm going to select our ceiling. We still got more points. Alright, cool. I'm going to go ahead and select the doorway. I didn't have these points, I wouldn't build the doorway, I'd just throw a wall up and lock myself in. And then tear it down, keep on going. But the points are coming real easy, I don't know why. 
this is official, but it shouldn't be that easy. We're going to go ahead and select our cash door. And we will select the sleeping bag. It does take hide. But this is the first thing you definitely want to make because you can spawn anywhere. You want to be able to spawn at your base. And I'm out of points. So you're going to have to go pick more stuff and build some stuff. So we're still kind of dark here. We're going to go into our inventory. Can we craft the foundation? Yes, we can. So, we're going to go ahead and craft that foundation. That's going to take some weight down and heat up some of the supplies. On the right side of the screen, it's showing the arrow come up significantly, as you see. And my weight went down a little bit. I built the first batch foundation. I can't do that anymore. Let's take a look at that real quick again. And what do we need? And red is wood. We got fiber, we have thatch, a bunch, but we need wood. So, earlier we went ahead and hit the stone. And we got flint, we got flint, we have stone, and we got metal. We got all three, we hit a brown rock. So here we got our flint, and we're going to make our next tool, which is our hatchet. Got that crafting away. I'm not expecting any fight, so I'm going to leave it the way it is and keep on moving with building. So we got our hatchet, and that's going to help us get more logs, wood, easily. We're going to take this foundation and pop it into my quick fire. And we're going to go ahead and say, well, we're going to build where we're going to build right here. A beautiful place, yeah. Right. A beautiful view. So we're going to take our foundation. I can press the number around number five. You can see you can place it any way you want. Click at the first line. Then you can use, you can turn it. It's going to turn this however you want. Let's click at the second line and place it. Alright, so. That's what I hate the build in this game, so here we go. I'm just going to drop it like this, face it up. A little lake up there, so we want to go ahead and build more of these foundations. And we needed wood, so we're going to get some wood. We've got some thatch too, so that's good. We're going to watch our lake. We're close, so we don't have to worry too much. So immediately, you know you're going to need to get wood, thatch, and fiber. D equipped our tool by picking that number two again because that's what you're going to on. And I pick some more fiber and I get some more berries. Alright, my weight's almost full of your stuff. You see, almost a handle. So let's go inventory, craft, and let's make double click, two clicks, goes again, two clicks, times two, and two. I'm going to make another one that's three. Base. Two by two. Yeah, I think I'll make it a little bit bigger. I will make it bigger. Well, I picked the wrong thing, guys. I picked ceilings. What that means? Back to the grind. All right, I made myself heavy. See, if you get too heavy, you will not be able to. Let's go ahead and come over here. And we're going to go ahead and drop. Drop these ceiling pieces. You don't get to be able to turn it now because it's got a 
fast. one obviously you won't be able to select anything. If you always keep one in inventory then it will stay there and you can go ahead and build a little more quickly. So there we go. Yeah, down there. Maybe too high. So scroll forward and back. Usually first place are easier for the closer building. Placing the front door. built I, I used the stuff too quickly and now I can't just drop the next one so I have to re-click number four and there we go so let's go ahead and get some more material this is so much fun get material you're gonna learn to love the grind so let's see we're still doing walls we need wood we got a bunch of thatching fiber so let's go ahead and get on the hatchet up all the handles. So, let's go ahead and get inside. And you can, since it was there before, the walls, see it's on number four, I have a hard time seeing that, you can now quickly press that quick slot key, number four, I'm going to do it a bunch of times. I hit it like ten times, so let's see how many it makes. It's going to make eight. Bottom right, you'll see it's making eight more than I needed. Four. Let's go ahead and put these down. Uh, inventory. Let's stop that. Clear the queue. Alright, we got the point. So let's go ahead and add some more points in here. I like to get the weight up to like 200. So we're going to get to the. 150 right now. 
we're gonna go ahead and put some, believe it or not, melee. I'm gonna go ahead and put a point there and a point south, so we're just slowly building that up. Alright, so we're already at level 11. So, here's our pick of things that we need to go ahead and get. So what's more, most important to me right now? We got a lot of choices. We're not gonna jump right into building wood. So we got our storage chest. That was very important. We need to go ahead and get our sleeping bag down. That's very important. I care less about the water skin and these other things right now. I have enough anger points to not worry, but hey, there's not going to be stuff in my mouth. So all this other stuff I'm really not concerned with at this point. You can make this mola. You'll need the hide, and this is very helpful in the early game. So let's go ahead and select that for now. And we're going to go ahead and select the bow. We had to pick something else. There's a prerequisite of 17 points. Right. I can tell you what that is. You need to go ahead and get the slingshot. You've got to have the slingshot. And you could just take the points. Let's go ahead and take the bow. See, I was able to learn that now. And now we the heroes. Okay, we're good to go. So we've got to wait to find ourselves. We're going to get back to what I normally do. Right now, I'm not worried about fighting. Excuse me. Alright, so. We're at building. We need roof pieces. Inventory again. Grab it. Here's our roof. We had some on the ground. Let's see if they despawn. Yeah, they're gone. Alright. Inventory. So that see that's this still sitting there? You just right click, it'll go away. Inventory. Crafting. We're building ceiling pieces. So let's go ahead and we don't need 15, we need uh, 2 for 6, I believe. So let's go ahead and craft a mount. 6. Okay. Alright, there's 2 by 3. It's all happening in real time. See, my food is a little bit wider than the other shade. Time to poop. Get a poop bowl. Alright, folks. So we got our basic structure. Shelter's done. We need fire. Don't worry about food. So, inventory. We need fire. What do we need for fire? We need 16 stone. So you can just pick them up off the ground, which is not very efficient. Or roll up over to one of these stones. And we got 12. Well, we got plenty of inventory. Crafting. Fire. Let's build that. Inventory, wait for it. Grab it. Just drop it in the quick slot. Select number three. You can put your fire outside. You can put your fire inside. We're gonna put it inside. By the door here. Done. Now, E or F will get you in there. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna take that balance of wood. I'm gonna throw that in the fireplace the fire pit, and now we have fire. All I have to do is light it. I'll put the wood in there. All you gotta do is press E to light. Wood's in there. Now we want to get some food. So, what do we got right now? I'm gonna mess with those big turtles. Those will put a hurt on. Let's go in here, and 
let's see, let's build a wooden spear. All we need is eight wood for that. Spears get heavy. We're already heavy. What we should have done is built a crate. Let's see you know, about building a crate real quick. We got enough to do this. Let's build that crate. Very important simply because you want to be able to gather more stuff. It's already there. Let's go ahead and put that in our quick slot. And you guys could tinker around with how this building's gonna go, but I'm just gonna drop it quickly there. Access that thing. And let's go ahead and you can arrow everything over real quick. Transfer all items, boom, it's all gone. So you're not carrying anything right now except for what's in your quick bar. But I need to go ahead and make my uh, weapon. So I'm going to need to go ahead and bring that over. So quick way, mouse over, press T, and that'll transfer it. That's what T is, transfer. Let's transfer that uh, thatch. Let's transfer that fiber. So we got our basics to make our spear. It's inventory. Let's look at me. I'm still naked. So what we could do real quick, we make a little armor craft thing. We selected these three cloth pieces. Double click, double click, double click. Let's go ahead and craft us the most basic amount of armor and a little protection. So we want to go build that up. We're back to looking for flint now, which I put some in the box. I don't go back, I just keep on gathering because we need the stuff. So here we go. You can drag it over to your guy or double click it again. Double click, double click. And we got some clothes. We needed to get some more. Flint real quick. 24, that's enough. And oops. Whistle. You'll need that later on to control your dinos. Let's go ahead and make this guy here. Two, three, that's enough. And we'll carry it back and put some points in. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, let's see, we're at 150 there. Let's get our health up to 150. Let's get melee damage up with the rest. We can add more points. I'm not even going to look at that right now. Go back to our inventory screen. We're gonna take these walls out. We shouldn't be carrying those, but we got some spears. Fiber and wood. Flint, fiber, and thatch. So you can actually use more easily make the bow and arrow. But you need to make a bunch of arrows. So there's the arrow. Right click and we make 18 arrows. So we get those made up. Take that bow since it's made and quick slot that. Let's build it in the background. So can I go ahead and put my spear in my hand? So we can do one of two things. We can jab left mouse or right click and then you throw it. So what level is this guy? Level 20. We can kill this salamander. Right click and throw. Okay. Right click and press. I'm sorry. Is the spear sticking in him now? you can 
kill these little dodos. Uh, there no name. There we go. See? Dodo. Female. Alright, so we've got hide. We've got meat. Let's run back home. This little pile here. With nothing in your hand, you can select E and you get sand. That's to make a dopey buildings. Let's cruise on back. Keep the progress rolling. Jump up in the air. We're gonna access our fire. We got some stones in there. Transfer over. T, T, fill that bad boy up like that. Okay, basics are done. We are getting food, water, shelter, fire. troubling because you really need to go ahead and get your levels up. Let's take a quick look at what we got left. We've been going for a short amount of time and we have gained several levels. Level 14. We actually are level 15. We'll put two more points in. Oh, let's see. Where am I going to put the two more points? I'm going to put them in the weight right now. Go ahead, those in there. I get at least 200. That's not a lot. So we're like 16 actually. And as you see, we can pick all these wonderful things here. Look through those. See what you think you like. The spyglass will be good, but you need to have crystals, which we're not going to find for a little while yet. Um, the club to beat up animals with to knock them out, but we're going to knock them out from the distance. Hold up, I'll show you how that works here shortly. And then we can actually advance to wood. So again, if you're looking to gain levels quickly, this is where you're going. You want to build a bunch of those foundations, you can repeatedly build those. And just destroy them and build them and they'll help you get levels. It's up to you. I just enjoy playing the game, so I'll go ahead and continue with my building. There's armor down here you can get. So let's go ahead and put these points right here. We got our wall. Let's get our ceiling. Doorway and door. I do it at in that order all the time because if I don't have the points, I don't care if I don't make a door in the doorway, I'll put a wall up destroy the wall to get in and out, rebuild it. So we got that stuff done. And we can get our hide armor, it looks like, yeah. Armor's pretty important. It needs prerequisite because I didn't pick the ones from before, the fiber set. So we got enough points, take it, yeah, good. The shirt, the pants, we won't have a prerequisite because I picked those before. So we'll take the hat, we'll take the gloves. Yes, and we'll leave that be as it is. So let's go ahead and go into our inventory screen. We got some hide. So you can make the bow. 
I'm sorry, you can make the slingshot, which I'll show you. You really want to make the bola, which is a great. You can have a couple of those, this one really, really good. And we can go ahead and make a little bit of arm. So I'll just go ahead and make the pants and the shirt. What else? Let's see. I'll make the shoes. Ooh, I got enough for gloves too. So we'll see about that. And the most important thing I didn't make, which I should have made, was the sleeping bag. That's all built up. Let's go ahead and pop this on. Quick double click. Throws that armor on. I'm gonna pull and drop that. I'm gonna drop my poop. I'm gonna take this bowl and throw it right in the quick bar. And I'll take the slingshot. I'm gonna show you how this works. Slingshot real quick, you gotta have stones. Pick up your stones and you got your slingshot action going. Number eight is where my click slotted click quick slotted it. So here's our bow and arrow. I'm sorry. <laughs> Here's our slingshot. Hold the uh, left mouse button. And let's see. I missed. That's how that works. So, here's what I want to show you. Take these guys out. And I'm left clicking, and I'm gonna release him. And I just sneered him. He can't move. You can remove that when you go up to press E, or you can go ahead and do your worst. Take him out. Done. Early game, what a wonderful tool that is. Okay, right click. Huh. I I to right click. Left click, swing, go, throw. You got it. Let's go ahead and get our material. We can kill him with the axe. We can kill him with the pickaxe. We don't want anything. So, since we needed that hide, we're going to go ahead and do the most important thing. I need fiber. How do we get fiber? Unequip our tool, get them off the plants. Put it on that fiber we got ready. We ran a long way from our base, didn't we? Inventory. Crafting. So those are one time uses. They should still be one time uses. You need to make a bed be permanent. And I wish I would stop doing that. So let's go ahead and pop that in there. Move on over. We made our bow and arrow. What you want to do is get into the practice of selecting what kind of armor you want. So if I go into inventory, I'll take this arrow and I'll drop it on top of the weapon simply because you should pick the choice of ammo when you have more than one. If I had trank arrows and I want to trank something, then I would take it, if this was a trank arrow, and drop it over the top. Then it would be loaded with tranks. So here we go. On this one, you want to right click. This is my confusion with the bola. You want to right click to go ahead and give you better aim. And then left click to pull back. And the longer you hold it, the more you shake. And then release with the left mouse button. You can hold it right. That shooting easy enough. So let's get our sleeping bag down. Put it down here. There's no secretary to lock her in her head though. We got our sleeping bag now. We got our fire. 
we got our nicely cooked food. Let's take that out. Let's eat. Five pieces at once. So that'll have my health to start to go up, or my food bar. i put it where I can actually see it. Looking good. We got another level coming ready. So as you can see, leveling is very easily progressed. It doesn't take long. You're not missing out on the whole game. So you can definitely level up, but it's important you level up, get your armor, and get some weapons before you start going in. And I will warn you, and you'll see it. Raptors are not your friends. They jump on you, and they will peck you to death, and you may lose your life if you try and go in too early. Just with one jump, it'll be over. Very simple. So, what I'm going to do to finish off is I'm going to show you the so-called upgrade. We want to build wood foundation. So what we need to pick right now is get together some more wood. Let's get that good one right here. Okay, about a hundred wood. We have a bunch of thatch in our inventory and we have a bunch of fiber. Let's go ahead and go into crafting. Let's select that foundation. We can only make one. We're going to take and fill the wall as well. Do this to kind of give you a look at the upgrade. Take this number five is where I quick slot it. So if you look outside, you see it's there, right? So you can't see it here inside, but it's down there. And usually you're pointing right at the slab, and you're going to go ahead and pick the left mouse button. And there you go. It destroys, and you get some supplies back from the thatch, a percentage of it. And now we're going to go ahead and do a wall. The walls don't always work real well with the thatch. Sometimes the piece of the thatch stays hard to see which side how the wall is being built so there's some trial and error with that but we got that in place and we're going to go ahead and left click it and it worked perfectly this time destroyed that old thatch and now we have wood so what you do is you build your whole foundations back wood build your walls build your roof and off you go so that's our basic structure. That's our basics of the game. You pretty much got everything you need to survive just by doing this that we just did. And again, you can keep going back and see if there's anything in those mystery crates or just play your game. And I like to play the game so I don't stick around here. I just see if I can get it. If I can, great. If I can't, there's nothing good. Move on. I just play the game, guys. I don't care to find all the cheats and everything. It's it's just not worth it to me. So we are further down this coast in my next server, and that's actually the first episode that I made. And what we have over there is a log cabin, and we're gonna pick up over there on the other server. We will be in video number three next. So this one's actually should be the first, but I just wanted to show you guys the basics. I didn't do that. We're going to get to the next video. I'll be on the other character, still an official server. We'll have the log cabin. That's where this video will pick up. And then... This third one will be a continuation from the, where we were at at the log cabin. It's a little bit confusing. I know I've confused myself. But I just wanted you guys to see that it's so simple to get the leather, to have some hand tools, to have some weapons. It was nothing. And I didn't want you all to feel that I was cheating you out. So there we go. So listen, I wanted you guys to uh, uh, have a great evening. I thank you for watching, as they all say, 
And if you like the video, please like it. Subscribe if you'd like to subscribe. This is all brand new for me. I hope that uh, we get to do a lot more videos for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, hey, we can even play together. So leave me a message. And we will go ahead and see what we can do. Alright folks, thank you very much. Have a good night.